So I'm going to do a video about my art styled Book of Shadows. Now, Book of Shadows is the book that you put your information in, your spells, your um, journaling about progress, the information about all your witchy activities. It's also a grimoire, the Book of Trees, and the Book of Mirrors. It's whatever you want to call it. I believe Gerald Gardner was the one actually who started calling it or gave it the term the Book of Shadows. And that would be in the 1950s, so further back. I bet they called it maybe just a grimoire. Or, hey, look, it's the Family Book of Information and Spells. I'm not too sure what they called it back then. Like, way back then, before the 50s. Uh, this book... The one that I'm doing the art part in, all it is was a, a book I got from the thrift store. This one cost me, well, it cost me 99 cents, I can tell you that. I think it's on the back here, 99 cents. It's a photo album. What I do is I get these photo albums, because they have pretty paper usually. I have this plastic. I just take the plastic off. And then I have nice pages. You're always going to have these weird holes. But anyway, I can work around that because I'm going to use it as a collage book more than anything. So I'll just take the book and take out all the plastic. And then I'm stuck with really nice pages. This one had really nice craft paper. So I know some people say you can't show your book of shadows. You can show whatever you want as long as it's legal. This is a book of shadows, and I'm showing it because there were so many people who have gone through so much, being squished by rocks, being burned at stakes, being gutted, being thrown in the river. All these people died for a purpose. And it wasn't so I keep my idea of my craft to myself. It was people that did not want to denounce what they did. Even if it was, they did not want to denounce their Christianity. And they were saying, I am a Christian and I am not going to tell you I'm a witch. It's the same concept. They died for a purpose. And the purpose was to do what I want to do. And I want to show you a book of shadows. Same concept of war, going to war. Same concept, my grandfather going to war. He did that so I could do what I wanted to do. As long as it was legal and it didn't hurt anybody. I made it a free state. This is a painting. It's actually a painting of Cersei. And I cannot tell you who painted that, but I really do like that. That was my first, first part. I've got some weird little nonsense pages. Land of Nod. Got a, a page about protection charm. A full moon water. <laughs> it says Eve candy. It was supposed to say Earth candy, and it was supposed to be about crystals. But the thing about my sigils. A double truck spread of just. Um, what is that? Pastel um, oil based acrylic. And it's not really right. How about if it's just an oil based pastel? Yeah, there's no acrylic except for the background. More sigils. Baba Yaga. She is not really Baba Yaga, but she is playing the witch and the bluebird. She is, I cannot tell you the name of this lady. She's an opera singer from The Bluebird playing the witch. got my Hunter Moon page. Another page is just, I have no idea what that is. Another page of candles, which I think I must have been just kind of crazy and just threw, just threw stuff down. Another one about candles, I just threw it down. I don't think I was really trying to get artsy on that at all. And one about, you know, watch your building champ. Alright, yeah, that's Frida. I like her. Very nice. 
Another thing about the watcher. And this is, as you can tell, is a page that's not done. It's got these parts, little parts. And they'll be all stuffed in there somehow. This one is actually glued down. Needs some detail work. So it's just glue, no detail yet. And there's another page that's, I've got my parts, but it's not on there yet. And this one's going to be about Samhain, but I like to call it Sam Hain because I had a cat whose name was Sam, and then his last name was Hain. That's how he was at the vet, which was really funny. All right. So I have another book. This is my my journal book of shadows. Whatever you want to call it. I just universally call it the Book of Shadows because that's pretty much a universal term now. Everybody understands when you say what it is. There's not much on the first pages that I've done. It's made so I can add pages as I want to as I go along. I have pockets in the beginning pages. I do have this area where I have information about the gods and goddesses, which I needed to have when I was doing altars for the shop. These um, these are copied from a book that my friend let me borrow. So I didn't want to write all that information down again. I just copied it. But I just kind of added some little bits of artwork that I liked. Makes it a little more fun. Makes it so I enjoy looking at it. That one needs art. This one has a lot of nice art that I found. And I like these little tip outs. Fun. All you do is add washi tape to the page and you can do a tip out. If you run out of room, you can do that to anything. I mean, if you're writing and you run out of room, just put in some washi tape and just do a little tip out. And then, not much more in the back except for my herb section. It's not even filled out. Of course, it's in the work. You know, it's a work in progress. But back here, let's see, somewhere, I have these, yeah, I have these um, newspaper clippings, which I found on the internet, and I thought they were great. Of course, there it is. If you don't know him. And you should. I mean, you should if you're a. Whoops. Are you going to focus? No. If you are a Wicked, you should know him. That's Gerald Gardner. Yeah, I really had no idea that he. Hmm, he died at sea. But now I do. So, recognize that face if you're a Wicked. That's the kind of, what was at the back of magazines and books in the 60s. Yeah, if you're not born then, you would never have seen anything like that, but I remember those. And then some other information. Information, yeah, what is information? But it's fun, fun stuff. It's on the back. And that is what this book is. It's going to be just, you know, it's getting there. It's getting thicker getting a little funky. You have to rearrange your pages and go along with it. See, these have actually the string on the back. And then the signatures are inside the string. I have one here, which is a book too. It was a dictionary. Nice thing about this book is I was able to actually put the signatures in between the signature spine and the spine itself. So I wrapped the string around so you can't see it on the back. But it's still a junk journal style. Junk journal style with all my pages. Nothing on the pages on these. As you can see, it's got the, the string, and it's holding each signature by a string. 
So these are fun to make. You have a hardback book. Rip out its guts. Throw some string around it. Either if you can get it on the inside. Fabulous. If not, put it on the outside. Stuff some pages in between. These are all 8.5 by 11, I believe. Folded. You can add, subtract, and just do whatever you want. These are all stained. And then people like to tease stain. I used a fountain pen ink, diluted. That's what that red is. So these are the books I have. I have more than these. But these are the ones that I am actually working on at the moment. So go make a junk journal book of shadows. It's easy. It's fun. And it's your book. And you can rearrange the cover. Keep the cover the way it is. Or like this one. This was a Webster's Dictionary, but I don't know if you would really think that was a Webster's Dictionary anymore. So, go and try a junk journal book of shadows, or make an artsy one where you're actually taking a, something you're finding at the thrift store and rearranging a book that had a different purpose, as this one was, for photos. I'm sure people can figure out how to work around this stuff. It's paper, it's lovely, and it's already put together. You can do what you want, make a mess. So I hope you go out, go thrifting, go find you something, and go make it yours.